Okay, basically pedophiles, we could all sum it down to fuck them, kill them. Not literally to fuck them, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Just Even if you them. gave them chemical castration, they're still gonna wanna fucking suck a little kid's dick or finger or two year old pussy. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just being real about it. I hate you. I'm serious. The urge will never go away. I don't care if you ain't got balls. And what about women? Pedophiles. Hmm. Is there any... Do you really think there's something wrong with it? What? Women pedophiles? I would love to have had some woman no, seduce me when I was like just equally six. bad. That'd be good memories for me. Unless she was like fucking 500 okay. pounds and no. like 84. No, I think it should... <laughs> No, it's, just, it's, it's different from for. Uh, well, no, it's not matter. actually. Yeah. It's still fucked up. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, of course, you're right. But what I'm saying it, is, man. is a, a, a lot of people will think it's like, dude, if you're dude, wouldn't you love to have some chick fucking fondle your junk when you're like six? It's like, no, I don't understand this shit. What? It's like, what's this? Oh, I understood it because I found magazines of my dad. You know what? Don't fucking... no, no. Just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Well, my, my dad's passed away, man. He's been dead for fucking 20 some odd years. Yeah, I know that. God damn it. I'm just saying. I was turned on to sexual shit. Because he used to let us watch friggin' uh... You know, like nudie movies and shit. Since we were kids. You know, he'd let us watch Cinemax and fucking whatever. He'd let us see titties and whatnot. I was turned on to that kind of shit when I was a kid. And the people know my dad let me watch titty movies. Uh, okay, well then I'll keep it in. Anyway, okay. just... Please! I, I think just... It doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you're a fucking pedophile. You should just be <clears> put <throat> to death. In the worst way I agree. fucking possible. Because if you ruined... You already got to someone... You Actually, no. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say put to death. You know what? I would say put to prison. And... Prison will deal with you. You know what I mean? If you if you put them to death in prison, then uh, guess what? It's gonna cost us extra money. You know how much it exactly. costs to put someone to death, as opposed to uh, it costs less to let them live in life for prison than it does to put them to death. I didn't say that. I well, I did. I didn't, I because... didn't mean criminal, like justice, death kind of. Oh, thing. you mean just like, uh, like uh, if vigilante. you found out. Mm. That's what I mean. Yeah, but then you got a fucking face going to prison yourself. I don't give a shit. Uh, you will when you're in fucking prison. Dude, there was a dude in prison who was looking, uh, uh. Like, like looking for uh, pedophiles, and he'd like fucking kill them. He even killed one in prison at one point. And he's like, "Hey, I did the world a favor." And he's like, "I have no regrets." And then even all his prison mates were like, "Yeah, he's cool by me." <laughs> so I mean, I'd be fine <laughs> if I wiped the world of all the fucking pedophiles. Well, you wouldn't. You would have wiped one, and then you'd be in prison the rest of your life. I wouldn't do that to fucking... But... Try to take me alive. If it's your own child, I think that there's something where what, you won't get life child? in prison. No, you won't get life in prison, I think. Wait, what, are you, what are you talking I about? Think that, I think there was actually a case... No, no, wait, what? What are you talking about? I think there was actually a case in Texas where... Some dude's daughter was molested, and he beat the fuck out of the dude that did it, and he died, and he didn't even get convicted for murder. They let him go. See, that's how you fucking do it. But that was Texas, man. Still, though. But that's Texas how you do is it. like a gun-toting, fuck-you, fucking goddamn state. I know, but that's how you fucking do it, though. Well, okay. yeah. And I wish more states would accept that fucking fact. Yeah. But no, they're like, let's give them a ah, trial. Shit. And then, let's make the sentence less. But I mean, I understand the sentence less because they're not going to make it out alive anyway. This fucker's going to steal my shit back. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah, I know. It's all fucked up. It just like fucking every state has its own laws. You know, every state governs itself. Which is good and bad at the same time. Well, yeah, see what. We're in the fucking United States then. We're United States, but each state has their own fucking law and shit. It's like, no, we should all have the yeah, same Yeah, but that's good, law. because that means I can buy weed tomorrow if I wanted to. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Whereas Whatever. if I was in Arkansas, I couldn't. Look <sighs> at these fuck pigs, man. I fucked up. Now what's the next topic? Hmm. Giant cocks. How do you feel about them? Ah, I don't know. Well, I, I would like me. to have one. I'm the only one that got fucked in the asshole. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Uh. Ooh. Noise. What? Oh, son of a goddamn meat ass. I, uh, here's another topic. Oh, shit. Um, mental illness, apparently. Let's, uh. <laughs> Okay, how do you want to approach that one? It fucking sucks. That's what it does. Uh, that's how, yeah, that's I know, how I but... It. God damn. But no, no, no. How do you want to approach mental illness? I, I, like, I, how does it affect you? How does it affect your family member? What the fuck is this? I think just any, I think they're just asking about just anyone or my or our opinion on it. Um, I mean, I'd try your... Okay, yes. okay. Here, you... Let me be the second moderator here. Oh, shit. Are you affected, in your opinion, by mental illness, either by you or a family member? Holy shit! Uh... Or even a friend. Oh, like someone put me through Just some someone, shit now. Just someone you're close to. Or whether it be a family member or a friend. Someone I, you know? I think they're just asking in general, like anyone. Yeah, but I'm asked. I'm expanding on it. Have you ever been affected by it? Is it? Are you affected by it? I think we it? all are. <laughs> no, I don't oh. think so. Well, I mean, it depends. See, that's oh. why I'm asking. In what capacity have you ever been affected by somebody who has had? Whoa, oh, hey, well, there's uh, see, I mean, one of the uh, mental illness supposedly is like depression. Yeah, anything. So, I mean, that that's one. Depression, fucking, uh, <sighs> yeah, de well, de depression, schizophrenia. Somebody who thinks, oh my god, everyone's talking about me. God damn, I hear voices in my head. Fucking holy shit. Anything like that for I'm you? Gonna to, I'm gonna have to see a doctor. <laughs> you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, um, no, I never had that. I know depression. That's the fucking given. God damn. Uh, well, not you, but anybody. Um, yeah, me. Fuck. Really? Dude. Yeah. You've had depression? Dude, I still have that shit. Fuck. Why? Why, why do you think I'm so hilarious? <laughs> yeah, why do you think I'm so hilarious? Because I'm exactly. so fucking fed up with this goddamn planet. I wish it would <laughs> blow up. <laughs> See? Exactly. Take everyone with me, man. Fuck you all. I ain't going alone. <laughs> exactly, see? <laughs> but, you know... Uh, <laughs> see, I'm not so depressed that I would take my own life. I want everyone to go with me at the same time. <laughs> no, that's depressing. <laughs> Even oh, you, man. Oh, I love you so much, I want you to fucking, fucking... Burn alive. Vaporize with me, man. Uh, oh... Side note, I had a dream about that shit, and that fuck that actually kind of scared me. What? It was like a it was like a dream where the world was about to end. I don't know how it was. Oh, I've had those. And it Holy was, crap! And this one was way too real. It actually scared me. It was I, I I was like, am I having a dream or is this fucking real? What the fuck? And it was like saying like, oh, an asteroid's about to hit the fucking earth, and this and that. Hmm. And I was like, <laughs> okay, so how the fuck we get off? You got green, like, bitch. And then, and then, and I was yes. like, oh, if you get on this boat, you'll be safe. I'm like, how the fuck are we going to be safe? On this boat? Us? Yeah. Well, not a boat, but it was like a submarine, like a nuclear submarine. I was like, how are we going to be fucking safe from this shit? Hey, you could have been. And anyway, so me and basically, you know, my brother and my mom and dad, we try to get in. 
but it got full, mm-hmm. so we were like hanging on top of it, like on like the surface. Hey, of wait it. a minute! I saw this movie. What? Was it actually a movie? Yes, dude. Where they made five huge submarines and they electrified. That's, electric- tw- that's twenty twelve, and that's no. yeah. Yeah, but okay. this was actually asteroids. Oh, okay. Oh, what's the oh, fucking okay. whole thing? Well, whatever, dude. An asteroid hits the ocean, it's gonna do the same fucking thing. Well, well what happened was with this, it was like, as soon as we were on, when we were about to leave, you just see these fucking big giant fire fucking asteroids just hit, and we get knocked back onto land. And mm. the best way to describe it. Pretty much, we all got Thanos snapped, but with fire. No, just disappeared. Yeah, it was like first it was my mom, then it was my dad, then it was my brother, and then it was me. And I was like watching it as I was slowly like, cause I like from it was in a first person view, and it was mm-hmm. fucking creepy. Cause I was like, as soon as I got we got knocked off, I was pushing myself up, and I see my whole arms just like slowly going away looking like they're on fire. Oh, like, trust me. If like that ever really away. happened, you would disappear instantly, just like when oh, the I know, I know atomic that. bomb is dropped on Hiroshima. Oh, I know that, but just what I was seeing, it's like, it, it was like ashing away, but with fire. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, and Did then... Did you, you have know, any pain? I was feeling it, actually. It was weird. I was like, dude, what the fuck? And then, you know, my mom disappeared, then my dad, then my brother... And then I went, and I was like, I don't like that dream. I hope that doesn't come <laughs> true one day, because fuck, dude. But, um... Well, hopefully yeah. not in your lifetime, but in uh, someone's lifetime on this planet, it will. Probably. Mm. No, thank dude, God I mean, me. it's inevitable. It's gonna happen. Yeah, that's, like I said, thank God it ain't me. If there have been five Earth-wide extinct... Uh... Earthwide level ex- I don't know how to word it. Uh, anyway, extinction uh, level, whatever's it's gonna happen. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. But uh, back Where, to uh, more than seventy five percent. Yeah. Goddamn I don't know. Life on the planet dies unless you're in the ocean, unless you're a slug at the bottom of the ocean eating fucking goddamn fish shit. <laughs> goddamn it, John. So either you evolve into that now, or you're fucked. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll get back to the topic. The mental. Illness. Okay. Yeah, dude, I've been fucking depressed since I was like in my teens, because I was that fucking uh, bullying horse shit. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that, man. That was horse shit. Dude, oh my god, that's fuck. Now I have anger. That's kind of fucked up, dude. If your dad taught you to box. You should have knocked the fucker out. Yeah, there was a few I knocked out. But there was another group, and they were not really good at fighting. Well, you. Yeah. Well, they would all jump me at once. Hey, dude, that happened to my brother-in-law. Granted, he was a huge dude, man. He was like six three, six four, and he was big. But he still got his fucking shit knocked out. But he said, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna take it. Fucking knock me out. Fuck you." Next time you fucking try to come at me, I'll fucking fuck you up again. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I can see I wouldn't want to take that horse shit. You know, when I was growing up, there was one asshole. Actually, two assholes. When I was in fifth grade, there was one stupid pile of shit that would always punch me in the arm. Same spot every motherfucking time. I had a bruise that lasted for, like, fucking six months because he always punched me in the same fucking spot and then one day I fucking tackled the fucker and he fucking quit fucking with me because I was like fuck you <laughs> you know what I mean yeah and then there was one dude in eighth grade who was he obviously was held back for like fucking three years he should have been in high school like a fucking junior but he wasn't he was still in fucking eighth grade oh, and so I was like fuck that shit so, you know, he punched me one time in the chest, and I was like, alright, fine, I'll take it, fuck you. And then I totally steered clear of the fucker. But yeah, I mean, fuck, dude, I, I never got bullied, and then once I started being a fucking 
asshole that I am now, you know, like a stunner dude. Nobody fuck with me. I just walked around with this pissed off look on my face the whole time. And nobody fuck with me, ever. Well, after this one kid that was, um, because he was, because, so this Mexican tall dude, I thought he was stronger than me. He was like, fuck with me and shit. And I saw him, I was just like, I don't even give a shit. I just, I don't have this energy to really fucking fight back. I'm too tired. <clears throat> yeah. And then, um, <clears throat> he was picking on, a, and I was like a sophomore. I think, or junior. He was picking on a... No, no, it was a freshman. I was a freshman, and uh, he was picking on another freshman, but the problem is this kid looked like he was a sixth grader because he was just so tiny. He was short mm -hmm. and skinny. Problem was, it wasn't that he was picking on him. The kid looked like my brother, like face-wise. So I was like... Oh, really? So I was like... Ooh. So it just, I fucking flipped without even knowing, and I fucking, next thing I know, I went up to the guy, and I was like, dude, fuck off. And he was like, what are you going to do? And I was like, well, this. And I fucking spit in his face. <laughs> and then he punched me in the gut, and then a couple days later, he wanted to spar. Because he wanted to see what I can do. Right. And you kicked his ass, right? Well, he tried to do wrestling moves, like pick me up and throw me around. Ah, oh, that's... Fucker couldn't lift me up. So after that, he got scared. Because <laughs> he couldn't lift me up. And so I started getting aggressive, and he was like... And then, the, like, the next day, he was like, hey, we cool? And I'm like... Hey. <laughs> and I was like, we'll see. But I gave him this death <laughs> stare, like, you better watch yourself, because I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and then after that, I was fine. But... I know. Didn't you have some fucking shit pig who kept fucking with you when you're walking home? Uh, yeah, that was, uh, this kid, uh, this is a black kid, um, no, oh, I, I God told you, damn, no, I told you about him. What happened after that? No, you didn't. Or maybe you did, I don't remember. What happened? He actually apologized to me. Really? Yeah, he, wow. one day he was like, hey, he's like, hey, can I talk to you? I was like, what dude because <laughs> I was tired of after school and he's like you know what I'm actually sorry for bullying you I shouldn't have done that and it's like I just want us to be cool like actually be cool and I was like oh you're and I was like dude you're actually the only first person to actually Asshole. apologize for their fucking bullshit and I wasn't we saying suck, in a rude way by the way yeah we do suck <laughs> we lost five times that's cool that he did that though yeah, I was like, you know, that, that's why I told him. I was like, dude, you're the first person who actually apologized for their fucking bullshit. And not, I'm not saying in a rude way. I'm just saying, <laughs> that's just how I'm saying it right now. He was yeah. like, oh, I get it. It's just shitty of me to do that. And I was like, yeah. But he, you know, <laughs> after hey, that, think? you know. But after that, you know, sometimes when I see him, we'd hang out for a bit and talk and just, you know, and that was it. So, that's me and cool. him were cool. <clears throat> um... And then, uh, I don't think anger really comes with mental illness, but then again, Shit. fucking... No, I don't think it does either. No. But... I mean, they do go hand in hand, but it doesn't necessarily... No. Because, dude, I've had plenty of anger and... Dude, I was... Uh, in school, I was angry, but then after school, I was like, I'm fine, I'm... You know, I'm not angry, so I didn't want to... <sighs> How do I say this? I didn't want to be like my dad and Jesse, because they get angry so easily. So I was more patient. Hey, man, dude, you get angry so easily. No, now I do, and you know why. Oh. Why is that? Because of my f fucking best friends and, or supposedly my best friends in San Jose, that I had to fucking deal with. Hmm. That that woman I supposedly was, or that I was. Okay, no need to explain. I think we're... Uh, are we even still on no, we're, topic? We're, no, we're still talking about it, because we I was saying oh, okay. anger. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it, it goes hand in hand, because it wasn't only just anger, it was also depression, because of the shit I was going through with not only those two, but with 
someone else I was living with. You already know who I'm talking about. Right. I'm not gonna say it. Um, but like, yeah, it was just it was too much because there's this friend or best friend that I liked for like ten years, and I. But anytime I asked them out, I never was like upset. Anytime they said no, I was like, okay, I understand. Because they either like someone else or they were dating someone else. I was cool. Mm -hmm. But then a certain thing happened between us, and there was a possibility of us dating. But then, <laughs> dude, but hey, then, hey, dude, dude, a bit later, dude. But then, uh, my own fucking best friend of 11 years decided, hey, he can't be trusted. He's a liar, a fake friend, only wants to be with you just to get with you. And then it changed her opinion on me and see me as this somehow a bad dude. So I'm like, okay, great, thanks, asshole. I did nothing wrong to you, and this is what you do? Really? Well, it's because he wanted to fucking take the place. No, well, he did. But problem was, is they didn't last long. <laughs> they they broke up. <laughs> as far as I know. So I was like, eh, you had a coming asshole on your face. <laughs> but, or you know, your asshole. But, oh, but man, this that mother. whole... That whole thing, just uh, how they were both treating me until mm -hmm. I left San Jose. That fucked me up so bad. And then my anger just... It came back, but was so much worse. Mm. It just, it like... It was worse than the bullying somehow, and I don't know why or how. I think I think it was just because I've known them for so long and trusted them that it was yeah. just so much worse. So now I can't control my anger most of the time. Or half of the time. Half of the time I can, half the time I can't. It just depends on certain days. But the fucking anger and depression was not a good combo. And people oh, will be like, oh, you gotta let it go. I was like, bitch, you didn't go through this. If you went through this and I told you that, then you'd be like, what the fuck? Why are you saying this to me? Hey, what did you do, by the way? How what? come I see your cards? We're, it's two versus two. Oh! You yeah. know what? I haven't even looked at your cards the whole fucking time. I've just been <laughs> listening to you talk. I didn't even realize that shit. Yeah, no. But no, I, I I I haven't talked I haven't talked to either of them, nor do I give a shit what they're doing, because I'm I'm better off. Yeah, I, just, I can't, because because like the thing is, like they they like uh, he 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 messaged me last year or a couple years ago in April. When I, I think it was before or after I left, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, I'm sorry for the things that went down. Me and Jerry, my other best friend, who's actually cool, and I got to hang out with him a couple months back. And he's he's the one who's actually up front with shit. So if he doesn't like something that I do, he'll be like, I don't like that shit, dude. I'm like, okay, I understand. Shit. I'm sorry. But not this guy. But um, <clears throat> the other guy, he messaged me like... I hope in the future we could fix this and it should have went down the way it did. And it's like, well, I didn't reply. But, you know, in reality, it went down the way it fucking did because of you. You didn't have yeah. to say anything. The, the, maybe the only advice you could have gave them, the other person, was you need to figure out yourself if you want to date this person or not. I'm not, I wasn't trying to force her to date me. I was just telling her, well, you, you don't give you time to think about it. And if you decide, yeah, cool. If you right. decide no, I'm fine with that. As long as, you know, it's up to you. But she really didn't get to decide. Because someone had to whisper in her ear. Oh, my God. So, you know. But uh, there's no way of fixing it. Because I told, I told my best friend Jerry, I was like, you know what, dude, if I saw him, I don't know if I would be able to control my anger. I just, as soon as I see him, I just lose it, because I just want to fucking knock his teeth in. That's just how bad my anger is now, at that point. <clears throat> and I told him, 
And I was like, and if I saw her, well, obviously I'm not going to hit her, but <laughs> I know she can't fucking handle people yelling at her. So what am I going to do? I'll fucking yell at the top of my lungs at her. Cause or just ignore the bitch for the rest of your life. Oh, no, I am. Oh, you fucking stupid cocksucker. But no, I just mean, like, if they try to, like, like, try to be like, hey, can I come to you? Or can I talk to you? And, or just yeah, yeah, somehow know, run man. into them. I'll be like, fuck you. Get away from me. I don't need you. Actually, what you should do is say, yeah, come on up. Have them buy you lunch. Have them buy you breakfast. Have them take you to a movie and then be like, okay, bye. I have to come now. Just fucking use the fuck out of them. Nah, that's not how I roll. Well, that's how I'd roll, man. Fuck those motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Fucking I eat a goddamn big hairy horse cock. For all I care. Yeah, we both can. Fuck them. I can munch on the same one if it's long enough. Fuck. I'm, I, <laughs> horse cock is average like three feet long. Fuck. They can, one can be at the balls, one can be at the head. Fucking. Blah, 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 blah. Meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I, I I think it, the, the weird thing was too is that she messaged me I think a couple months after no she messaged me twice a month uh, a few months after he messaged me because she was like oh, I was missing you I was crying over you because hey, hey, I wanted you know, I'm I, wanted, I wanted my best friend back yeah best friend fuck and... you fucking goddamn smelly cunt <laughs> pardon my language. Oh, I don't give a shit. I, I mean, before, I probably wouldn't like, hey, don't say that. But then, you know, mm -hmm. at some point, I'm just like, fuck this. Why am I have to defend these people that don't give a shit about me? So, um, but, what was it? She she messaged me. She was like, oh, did he message you? I was like, message me what? And I was like, he was supposed to message you about me, like, missing you and trying to talk you into coming back and being my friend again. And I was like, no, he didn't message me. Oh, and so I was like, so he's lying to you? Big fucker. I was like, I was like, dude, she's like, yeah, I guess he's lying. And I was like, dude, this is the one thing I fucking told him. I was like, tr if you end up dating anyways, fucking treat her well. The treat her like I would fucking treat her, asshole. But no, you decide to be a fucking dick. Because uh, she was telling me some other shit that he was pulling, and I was like, dude, what the fuck? And she she even admitted, and I hope he fucking sees this video, if he ever does. I hope he's not <laughs> subscribed. But I hope he fucking see this asshole. She said she oh, regrets shit. the decision, meaning she probably would have chose me. But hmm. you fucked up, bitch. Oh, boy. <laughs> you fat fucking piece of shit, you smelly cunt fart fuck. Well, who are you talking about? Me. The I'm dude? Talking, yeah. You know what? He should have been swallowed. And then spit out oh, the garbage, God. and then burned that fucking garbage. You wow, fucking piece of shit! You might want to. You're gonna edit this shit, right? Nope, I'm keeping that in for him. Oh <laughs> damn. Um, and then because something happened in the family, I can't remember what it was. Uh, I was like, I I needed a break because my anger just got like five times worse after that again. And then, uh, I, I told her I need a, I need a break because I'm... Oh, you fucking pig. Because my anger is going to get the best of me and I'm going to say something I'm going to regret. So I had to keep my distance with her. Right. And then somewhere down the road, I think it was in March when I started working. Um, mm -hmm. She messaged me. She's like, hey, I uh, hope you're okay because the COVID thing was starting and all that. And I was like, why are you messaging me? What? Why? And, you know, she said, I just want to be friends. And I was like, <sighs> I'm like, as much as I want to say no, fuck you. Change like, it to red. I'm, I was like, I'm going to risk it and say yeah. But I'm going to be very, 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 very. Ah, shit. Ex oh, God damn it. <clears throat> Basically, I was going to be extremely cautious and distant. Ooh, that was fucked up. Yeah. And, you know, it was fine for like three days. But in the third day, she was asking me, so what are you doing? I was like, well, I started working at this one place, and it's helping me lose a bit of weight, and, you know, I'm making good money. 
Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, she just fucking snapped and just started yelling. Like she was about like, what? She was like, "You're only my friend because me and him are not dating." And this, this, and that. I'm like, I was gonna be your friend when you were dating him. And you know, she was going on and this and that. And I was like, okay, yeah. well, there's red flag, dude. That uh, she's unstable and you don't need that kind of horseshit. No, I was just like, I told her, I was like, you know what, I don't need this, I gotta work, I'm good, bye, I don't need this, so, I stopped talking to her, I haven't talked to her since then, good, so I'm just like, I, I'm good, you, <laughs> you guys are too much, both of you, I don't need you guys in my life, before I, you know, you guys, I cared about you guys a lot, but, now, fuck both of you. Because, I mean, you guys were assholes to me. Yeah. What do you expect? Me to be like, oh, okay, I'll fucking come back. <laughs> you know, while at it, I'll fucking dress up like a clown and do fucking clown moves for you, you fuck, like a jester. <laughs> yeah, fuck that's just, that. No, I'm good. I, I'm much better off without that shit, because I... Uh, <clears throat> Okay, calm down. Next um, subject. Come on. I've had enough of this. You gotta cut that shit but, down. We've been talking about that for an hour. Not really. Oh, shit. Fuck! Really? I oh picked the wrong God. card. Oh, look at that. They're already kind of halfway there. Um, but mental illness... <laughs> the, no, See, he, you went off on a tangent. No, no, that no, had nothing no, to do with mental illness. No, illness. it does because the thing, the things they were putting me through, put me in oh, a okay. major depression, and I was such in a fucking drinking binge. I was just, it was bad. I was just like, I want a bottle, and then like when I finished the bottle within like maybe two days, I'll f go get another one, and then another one. And I just wouldn't stop. But as soon as oh, I shit. got back, uh, got back to Manteca. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was drinking, but I wasn't as bad. Um. Yeah, it was just it was really bad. I was dealing with those two, and then you know the other person as well. Um, yep. I'm not gonna say who, but I, I know. It that it was too much. Even my dad was like, yeah, I know, it was, it was overwhelming for you, so I just, now I'm doing better. I haven't, Good. actually, I haven't been drinking lately. I might start next week, though. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Fucking work's been crazy. But, you know, I think that, the, the, the I was talking to someone about this, it was like one of my, my actual good friends that actually helped me get out of that shit. Um, <clears throat> I told I told them I was like I don't think they realize all three of them like the damage they really did until they've been in my fucking. Well, of shoes. course they're not gonna understand, dude. Yeah. I mean, somebody who does that kind of shit to you is not gonna understand. Yeah, not until they are in my they're... fucking shoes and been through that shit. Then exactly. Like, oh, I'm sorry. And yeah, like, exactly. Oh, really? Get on your fucking knees and say sorry, you fucking cocksucker <laughs> bitch. Get on knees and tell you you love me. Filthy <laughs> animal. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, sorry. Couldn't I know. resist. I know. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh... Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked, dude. No. God damn it! Can't go up. Hey, oh, is there a rule where you can go out on a discard? Because we gotta change that. I could have gone out, man. No. Ah. Dude, when I used to miss classes at De Anza and there were like ten of us playing Uno, instead of going to fucking class, we had that rule. You can go out on a discard. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I was paying to go to fucking college, and I fucking would just play Uno, like, all day. <laughs> God damn, they keep barraging me with fucking cards! Yeah. Uh, but, um... Alright, what do we got? I'd say just... Oh, yeah. I'd any... say I'm insane. 
I just repress <laughs> it so good that uh, nobody has any are. idea. And Isaiah yeah. too, and Chino. Yeah. I'm pre- uh, that's probably where most of my comments come when we're playing the game is just my anger coming out. Yeah. Because I really have nowhere else to project it. Well, it's better <laughs> to project it there than to, like other people. Oh yeah, I mean I can't do it at work. Do it at work, I fucking just do my work, keep my fucking mouth shut. <laughs> you know, I'm just like I don't say leave me alone. I'm just like I put on Howard Stern, I listen to it, I fucking do my work straight, and uh, you know, if someone has a question, sure, I'm more than happy to fucking answer it for you if well, yeah. you need help. But uh, other than that, yeah, I don't I don't seek out fucking like hey. What did you think about the fucking golf tournament yesterday, man? The Masters. Fucking no, third I don't, day, I don't do that shit. You know, yeah, fucking, I don't do that kind of shit. That's what I mean. I, I don't... And I really don't talk about... Oh, shit, I hit the wrong button. I really don't talk about anything. You know, I just... If you got, if you got a question, man, I'm here to answer your question. If I have one, I'm definitely going to ask you. But uh, otherwise, yeah. It's like I'm just to myself. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have a job like you where I'm moving all around. I'm like, other than dumping the shit, you know, that I take out of, uh, the, you know, like dumping components that I take out of, uh, units that I repair. I pretty much just stay at my workstation all fucking day. God damn it. I do what I have to do on the computer because I have to run some reports for people in the morning. I do that shit. Then I start repairing and or analyzing units and fucking... I'm just fucking done talking to people unless somebody has something to say to me. Yeah. I just cannot wait for getting out of there. Which is why I love working on Saturdays. Which, even though I really don't want to work tomorrow... It's cool because no one's fucking there, dude. <laughs> it's like just me doing my own fucking shit. I don't gotta worry about people being like, "Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, what do you think about? Uh, 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 fuck off!" You know, I don't have to worry about fucking dealing with people. It's quiet. No one's there. It's like I'm the only one there, unless somebody else happens to be working. Yeah. And plus, I'm fucking making. Eight hours of time and a half, so that's a plus. So I yeah. could, I could do that. I mean, yeah, I think the only. I mean, how would you give advice to people with mental illness? Oh shit! You can't. They need to go see a psychiatrist, man. Yeah. They need to be talked to in a certain way to get them in touch with what they're feeling. Unless they have a super serious case of psychosis where they need medication to get it under control. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, somebody with schizophrenia, yeah, they, that's a mental illness. That's where you hear voices and people are talking to you. And see, I had a friend that really had that, but honestly, I don't think I should talk about him about it. No. It's kind of a breach of... Uh, Nah, you could, you could leave that. If you Whatever, want. yeah. I mean, it it was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we'll just let's just leave that. But um, I'll tell you, like, I mean, I'd say personally, like, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I've dealt with it, and it's 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 kind of like to the point where there's not much you could say to the person. Yeah, I, I, unless I think I know they got mean. professional help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'd say the best. I, I can't fucking speak for myself because I'd rather just deal with it on my own. Because, I, I mean, I've done the whole counselor thing in high school and shit, and they didn't really help. So it's like, how's it going to be really that much different out there? Yeah. So yeah. I'm just like, I'd rather just deal with it because then I know I could handle it and feel better and just get a hold of it and just be shit, like grab it. By it. like, if it was a fucking physical being, I'd be like grabbing the shit out of it, like fucking get the fuck away from me. You yeah, know I mean. you know what I mean. But yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, but for other people, I'd say just go get help and talk to someone maybe that under like that go, is going through the same thing and help each other or I don't know. Well, I yeah, I mean, there's different levels. It's like some people have anxiety, where it's or, like yeah, they could be like. 
everything's all hey everything's cool and then all of a sudden they for some reason feel like holy shit the world's crashing in all around me I don't know what to do I'm sweating my heart's pounding what do I do how do I fix this you know yeah. it's like those people either need to medication go see someone or they or to go to... see someone yeah, or talk to someone. Or they someone know that can might... talk them down. Yeah, yeah, they might be able to talk them down from it and calm them down. Oh, look, asshole face decided to fucking join. Hey, just in time. I know. Oh. <laughs> what? He didn't even. <laughs> didn't even. Oh, shit. Didn't even say anything to you? No. You want to start that over, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we already started the podcast. Well, you have to you have to introduce. Well, uh, here's Chino, the little bitch. Special special guest. Hey, yeah, why don't you throw the last question at him? What the mental illness shit? Yeah. I I mean it doesn't. We can't recap all of them. Not really. And wait, wait. You said he had a question specifically uh, for him, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me see. Someone asked Ooh. a question. You, I, I went on Instagram. Hey, our and... fans. Yeah. We already have fans, and we just started the uh, the, the game. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> oh yeah, here's your questions. You know, <laughs> someone's in, uh, yeah, because I I asked Instagram like who hey, who wants to ask a question and shit. So someone decided to ask you a question, and it was why why do you deal with these dudes? Why do I deal with these dudes? Yeah, me, John, well, and Isaiah. Mario's an asshole. Oh, there you go. John I deal with... is a fucking sweetheart from heaven. Oh, shit. Isaiah oh. is my gay lover. <laughs> oh, shit. Here <laughs> we go. I'm obliged to have to deal with your guys' shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, god damn it. There's <laughs> like, no... There's See, no leaving. John said a different thing, so that's fine. So, I said I think I thought you just loved my fucking bullshittery that I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, John's the shit. saint. Oh yeah, he's a saint, all right. Saint Dickless. Whoa. <laughs> How would you know? Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah. He wears yellow panties. What? <laughs> oh no. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. No, I think it's just because I fucking speak mindlessly. I don't even think about what I'm saying. Yeah, we were we were talking about that in another topic earlier, which you fucking missed, which you'll Dude, have to I see on your podcast. My damn heart is to stay up. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, let's see. What's another fucking topic? Probably. Did you work today? Yes. What'd you do? What'd uh, you do today? Apparently, you you're have disconnected. This... What? It's all right. We'll play something else. It's all right. oh, we'll just in the podcast of here. Horse that was, that was, this was fun. We'll do this again next in the next two weeks. Uh, 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 Saturday uh, morning uh, podcast. Uh, Saturday John morning. Morning. Yeah. How early are you talking, dude? Like I couldn't do it tomorrow. I'm going to work at six in the morning. I'm putting the fucking podcast up in the morning. Oh, there you go with your anger again. We talked about this earlier. Oh, fuck off, big nose uh, bitch. Uh, uh, Here we go, dude. God damn, big nose bitch. Oh, clogging up God. your brain and not paying attention. Shut up, you little nose bitch. <laughs> for everyone who nose. listened to us talk for the past what hour? I think hour it was an hour half? or so. You hear what the fuck? He is insane. He is insane. <laughs> Stay away from him. Criminally if you ever insane. see him on the street, run! Criminally Hit him with insane. our car if you do. <laughs> well, so we don't want to play this?